assalamu alaikum dear student uh, welcome back with the practical part uh, this is practical number 4 exercise sizes on mendelian and modified segregation ratios modified me so they are not basically following the mendel laws so that's why these are called the modified uh, mendelian uh, ratios uh, you can correlate it with the uh, uh, theory uh, part number 5 and you would be better able to uh, grasp the concepts uh, okay here is the example the uh, palomino uh, horses have golden yellow coat chestnut horses have a brown coat and cremillo horses have a coat that is almost white so depending upon the phenotype we have given them name as uh, palomino uh, chestnut or the cremillo a series of crosses between three different uh, types of the horses produce the following offspring. So you can see here palmino cross with the palmino as so they produce 13 palmino, 6 chestnut and 5 cremillo and likewise all. So question 1. Explain the inheritance of the palmino, chestnut and the cremillo phenotypes in the horses. Number 2. Assign the symbols for the alleles that determine these phenotype and list the genotypes of all the parents and offspring given in the preceding table. So this is the uh, the previous table in this example. Uh, you can see. Uh, okay. So first part explain the inheritance of the palomino, uh, palomino, chestnut, cremello phenotypes in the horses. So uh, a result of the crosses is indicate that cremillo and chestnut are both pure breeding traits and these are called homozygous just focus on that question and heterozygotes is basically palomino is uh, palomino is the hybrid trait that is the heterozygotes and that produces 2 to 1 ratio 2 1 1 or 1 to 1 ratio when palomino are crossed with each other so they are heterozygotes uh, so the simplest hypothesis consistent with these results is the incomplete dominance. So none of the uh, phenotype is completely dominant over the other. Uh, so with the palmino as the phenotype of the heterozygotes resulting from chestnut cross with the cremillo. So this we, uh, we can explain uh, with the symbols in the second part of the question. So symbol are CB chestnut, CW cremello. So CB and C w so they are palmino or you can simple word you can say okay capital c small c and capital c small c combined or together that's a palmino that could be the heterozygotes or you can give symbol in any way here we have used the cb cw and uh, cb cw combined that for the heterozygotes now the cross one you can see the palmino with the palmino so they are heterozygotes so that's why they are producing three different type of phenotypes so when you cross any two uh, 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 heterozygotes with the uh, single gene, so you will always get two type of phenotypes. But in this case, here we are going to get three type of phenotypes. And the third one is the palmino. So palmino is basically, uh, we see the one to one ratio because two are the heterozygotes, one are the homozygous dominant and one is the homozygous recessive. So 13 are there. So this is almost double of the 5 or 6. So these are basically heterozygotes. So we have given symbol accordingly here in green color. Similarly chestnut with the chestnut. So chestnut is basically dominant and you will always get the chestnut. CB and similarly cremello with the cremello. So these are completely recessive. So you will always get the completely recessive. And likewise palmino with the chestnut. Now here you will get the two type of the phenotypes. And this is some sort of the test cross. And palmino with the cremello. Again, you will get the two type of phenotypes. And uh, chestnut with the cremello. So you will get the palmino. Uh, this is because they will produce the heterozygotes. And heterozygotes, there will be only one type of phenotypes. I hope this will explain the uh, uh, the the. Uh, phenomena of the uh, co-dominance. So here is the example of the co-dominance. You can see the previous example or you can see the lecture uh, uh, uploaded on the YouTube to solve this uh, example and uh, please solve it and uh, 
send it to me i will give you the uh, date on the uh, class thanks have good time